A very warm welcome to the Shenzhen Bay Gymnasium in the prosperous and massive mega city that is Shenzhen in the southern part of China. It shares a border with uh, Hong Kong, China. And uh, this is one of the tournaments here as uh, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. The last tournament where players can gain points for that trophy. The World Tour Finals will be played in just a month's time in this country, in Hangzhou. So this is a huge tournament for many of them, that last opportunity. This is the order of play on court one here in the second round of competition. Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, the seventh seed from Indonesia, takes on Nozomi Okuhara of Japan. That is first up. Women's singles continues in our second match. An Young may have some unfinished business to do after being bundled out of the Kumamoto Masters Japan last weekend. The top seed from Korea takes on China's Wang Ji-yi. Into men's singles, our third match of the day. Lim Chun-yi from Chinese Taipei, who is up against Anthony Sinisuka Ginting, who had a fantastic win, the second seed from Indonesia yesterday, against Lo Kian Yu. Into mixed doubles, and the seventh seeded pair from Korea, uh, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Eun, the Koreans, will be playing the Indonesian pair of Dejan Ferdinand Shah and Gloria Emanuel Wijaya. Returning to men's singles, Malaysia's Lee Ji Jia beat his compatriot Eun Tse Yong yesterday. He'll take on China's Lu Guang Tu. That's a compelling one. And later in the day, plenty to keep the local fans excited. Zhang Yi Man taking on Tai Tui, and that one is really eye-catching. And then, of course, Feng Yang Tse, Huang Dongping, one of the top-ranked pairs in mixed doubles. Also, Liang Wei Kung and Wang Chang in men's doubles. Very exciting, the second seeds. And Cheng Ching Chen and Jiayi Fan, huge crowd favorites here in the women's doubles. And we'll also see some men's doubles action at the end of the day. So lots to look forward to here at the Shenzhen Bay Gymnasium in this second round of action at this Super 750 tournament. As we look at the draw into the quarterfinals, the winner of this match between An and Wang will take on either, sorry, the winner of Tunju Okuhara will take on the winner of either An and Wang. We're going to have both matches for you here on court one. So we will know the identity of that first quarterfinal slot in just a short while. Be absolutely massive. You can just see perhaps there to the left of your screen. The players slowly making their way out. We saw Tunjung here yesterday. She was in our very first match of the day. Hugely impressive against Busanat on Bangruban. We have the opportunity to watch her in action once again. Look at the head to head and it's an interesting story. With Okuhara leading 3 2. The last time they met Tunjun won in Japan just a short while ago, back last week at the Kumamoto Masters. So the story is really that while she leads 3 2, those wins for Okuhara were some time ago. So we have to put, always put that into context when we look at these uh, stats. She won the first three meetings that date back to from uh, 2018 and 2019, the first three. But then Tunjung's won the next two, both this year. So Tunjung now is uh, 24, playing at a highest ever ranking of seventh in the world. And, of course, where she really has made a former World Junior Champion, by the way, in 2017. Last week, she's beaten uh, Busanan very comfortably, as we saw yesterday. Last week, she won the Kuomoto Masters Japan by beating Chen Yufei in the final. Now, that really 
grabbed a lot of people's attention because she Chen Yifei was overwhelming favorite. It wasn't just the fact she won, it was how she won. She's also won the Spain Masters earlier this year beating PV Sindhu. Okuhara is at 28, 156 centimeters tall from Nagano. She is a former world number one, but uh, her ranking has slipped, isn't it? Uh, uh, she was world number one just over three years ago. She beat Su and Chi. That was a, a battling performance, 70 minutes it took. She is a former Olympic bronze medalist from 2016, world champs. She won in 2017, and she came second in 2019. Asian Games is what she's got a Golden Women's Team events. And she herself is also a former World Junior Champion in 2012. And she has won five titles on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Her last title, so, come some time ago. All England. She beat Kwon Pong in the final in 2021. And she also won the Denmark Open in 2020. It's been some time. She also won four titles at the Super Series level two. Shan Tzu Hui from China is our umpire. She's assisted by Li Chuan Hui from China as well. So it's been an unfortunate uh, slip in the rankings for Nozomi Okuhara, who dearly loved to put that right. She hasn't played an awful lot this year, to be fair to her. Only 20 matches, just seven wins and 13 defeats. Whereas you contrast that with Tunjong, who's won 41 and lost 19. So it's a very good record. Just look at uh, Okuhara's record. The only she's been only twice this year she'd gone past the second round of any tournament. That is the Indonesia Masters. She got to the quarterfinals and lost to the that's the the 100. By the way, she lost to the youngster Tomoko Miyazaki. Okuhara was 67th then, and ladies and gentlemen. Oh my right. Lost to on the quarterfinals of the World Champs. She took in the three, though, to be fair, that one. And on the left, Gregoria. So starting off there, it's Okuhara. with a decent start here. And she started the year in the top oh. 20. 13th in the world, in fact. Three. First four tournaments getting eliminated in the first round of all of them. Malaysia, India, Indonesia, all England. By the time she got to the Swiss Open, she was still 15th, lost in the second round there.
That's a good shot. Oh, well done, Okuhara. So don't be fooled by that ranking. She's a much better player than that, but... It's just got to be uh, looking to just try and stamp a mark again now. That was uh, a bit of the drift. Yesterday we saw that drift. Uh, it's, a, it's from right to left. That might have just helped there. And it's also from just behind Tunjung. Oh, frustration, she knows it. So it's over. Five, two. Yeah, she, uh, she just kept slipping, unfortunately. Didn't play for three months between the Swiss Open and Indonesia Open. to try and uh, regain ground since then. Yeah, it's pushed it right to the back of the court, made it difficult for Sun Jung there. This is a very encouraging start. Again, just held it a little. Made it difficult for Tunjo. She's had some injury problems before, stress fractures and muscle tears. Won well, the World Championships last year with that. Oh, that is a sublime shot so from Tunjung. She Four, needed that badly. Nine. But she's been uh, under the cosh a little bit here. It's got to be said that she's just struggled. And it's been, a, it's a nice lead here. Five point lead, it was six just now. Four points on the trot. Five, nine. And now trying to put a run of her own. This is the first time she's scored consecutive points, by the way, in this match. Tunjung. Court there. And it's Okuhara right now who's impressing. As I said, she has struggled this year. Eleven, five, Eleven first round exits. And Two second round, the rest, as I said, world champs and 
Indonesia Masters Super 100. Right now it is 11-5 to Okuhara. In this first game. She will be really thrilled 11, with this. Five. It's a lot of work to do. Tunjung has to start making that move now. Watching her against uh, PV Sindhu Okuhara, just making lots of unforced errors in that one. This looks a bit sharper. Now, remember, these two just met last week. And Tunjung won that. Six. It was a tight affair. 21-19-21-19. That's a great backhand and she should finish it off. We saw that backhand yesterday. Against Busanan, it's it almost is a nonchalant one, but it's a it's a brilliant way. It almost takes you by surprise, and it certainly did that for Nozomi Okuhara. By the way, just referring back to that uh, loss to PV Sindhu in the Arctic Open in Finland, and a very lovely Hi. post from Sindhu afterwards when she beat her, and she said, "Remembering our numerous epic matches over the years, there can be times can be tough, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel." My gal, she called her. Keep fighting, I'll keep cheering for you. Lovely, really nice to see that support because obviously she's, as we said, going through a tough time. She had to withdraw from a number of tournaments. She had to retire. Sorry, there were walkovers. There was a retirement against Yo Jamin at the Indonesia Open. She's obviously not at her best. I remember, actually, I think I was commentating on that one where it was just 4-6 in the first and she had to leave the court. Wondering whether she's starting to approach her very best. And Tunjung is starting to narrow that lead. Only three points in it. It's been a very good post interval session. Remember, it was 11 5. Oh, is that getting challenged? No, it's not. Play. So 4-1 since the interval in favor of Tunjung. She needs to just end that round, but it's four points now. It's a lot closer than it was a short while ago for Nozomi Okuhara. This is good. Now starting to build up that lead again, Okuhara.
Yeah, she's attacking well. She's just stretching Tunjung. And uh, in very quick time, she's now got that six point lead. Tunjung's in some trouble here. Now, generally, in second round matches on the world tour, as I said, this year's not been good for her. That looks to be just out. And this first game is in serious danger of going to Okuhara as far as Tunjung is concerned. Well, over her career, in terms of uh, World Tour and majors for Okuhara, she has won 81 out of 101 second round matches. Very good record of about 80%. As you'd expect someone like her, it's not really working out for Tunjung at the moment, is it? She did lose her last second round match. I was at the Kaohsiung Masters. Against, uh, oh, that was a walkover, to be fair. Really not working for Tunjung here. 18, nine. By the way, she did beat PV Sindhu in the World Champs this year before the Arctic Open, so. <laughs> Delightful touch there from Tunjung. gets Indonesians in the second round. She's got a great record, six wins out of eight. So it's over, 19-10. Yeah. Lost her very first two matches against Indonesians back in 2012 and has won the last six. Ah, oh, much better from Tunjung. But is it all coming? A little bit too late. 11, we'll have to see. 19. There's not been enough of that, not enough winners from Tunjo. Okuhara has, against Indonesians overall, regardless of round, has won 21 out of 28. She's quick to the net, she's got a spring Let's and a go step. Her. 20 game points, 11. Lots of game points now for Okuhara. I'm not sure many people had this on the cards given the year she's had, so far anyway. Still a long way to go in this one. Tunjung has to wake up. She's just looked very passive. Surprising given how well she played recently. She's showing some signs. So there we go, that is a first, first game. Time That's time. very Nozomi impressive Okuhara. for Nozomi Okuhara. 21-12, she's won it. Boy, I'm not sure many people thought that was gonna happen. Fantastic for her. Let's see what the second game brings. Tunjo needs to turn things around quite spectacularly. <laughs> ちょっと逃げ方だけ。だから奥まで行かないんだったら前流していいよ。前流してそのその回次のクロスのリターンとかは結構早いから。で、ここ取った時にはやっぱ後ろにさ、ぶっくるから、その時に慌てないこと。う
立てて下から行ってこうやってやると難しくなるから球が強かったりすると難しいから行くならもう体入れてで止めるで相手がこうやって構えてくれれば。Well, by the way, that 21-12 win is her first of such a scoreline this year in a Super 300 and above. She had that once in a Super 100 in the Indonesia Masters a couple months ago, but she's not had that sort of scoreline. That's so, so the best result one, so far this love. year in a 300 and above. Nozomi Okuhara, that has got to give us some confidence, especially against a top 10 player. Someone in form right now. Different end though now. This is where it's a bit faster for her. Say so the One. drift oh. behind her. Let's see if that works in her favor or not. We can see that just moving in the air. Ooh, wrong footed there, and just with everything that's happened to her, you do fear so it's over. for Okuhara when she goes down, but she's okay. One. Slowly picks us off. Oh, that didn't look great, did it? Her right foot just giving out. She took some time to get out, but she's okay for now. Get concerned when you see stuff like that. Okay. Tundra, by the way, her record. Line judge! Line judge! Line judge! Overall, Tundra's record in the second rounds is uh, 30 wins, 26 losses. So interesting. She's only just above, got 50% on that. She won her last one against Kim Gaten, of course, at the Kumamoto Masters, right. Japan, last week. Um, <laughs> who's playing right next to her, actually, at the moment, on court two. Oh. Now, just starting to... Three. A few of One. these unforced errors that we didn't see her make before. Ooh, that looked good. So it's over two, three. Lost to PV Cinder, the Denmark Open. But otherwise, that was the only blot in the last five. She's got through the net, the pre other four. That's good as well. Great shot from Okuhara. She's finding her marks here very nicely. Wouldn't make it over. These are so it's points. Over. four, three. Which Japanese players? Is that worth a challenge or not? Nope. Not going to say anything. Five. Fingers played three. three Japanese players. One, one, lost two. Akane Yamaguchi, twice she has lost two. 
So then if that one is the other one. Six. Well, suddenly three. it's Tunjung who's surging. Just really wonder if it is the end now. Really push through on some of those shots. She was good on both ends yesterday. Sunjung overall against uh, Japanese players, she's lost more than she's won. 10 out of 29 matches against Japanese players. She's won the last two, both that have happened to be against Okuhara at the last week's Kumamoto Masters and the Denmark Open. One of the last... Uh, Five, six. And she's lost, she's won five against Japanese players. Just trying to pin her back in that in that corner on the forehand. Six, six. And this is good work from Okuhara. That's good. Now, the drift is actually behind six. Okuhara here, but it's held up. I think twice now she's sort of gambled on that. Tunjung, and it hasn't worked in her favor. Just clipping the neck cord, I think. There goes Okuhara's way. She was ready to challenge that in case that didn't go her way, but this is a good run. Remember, she led all the way pretty much in that first game. She's on a five-point run at the moment. Actually, she decided to leave that one, didn't she? So it's tighter second game. Seven, eight. Just in front here, Tunjung. Oh, very nicely done. She looks uh, a lot better, a lot happier. Ten, this end, doesn't she? Eight. Still tight. Okuhara wants to keep herself in this sort of range. Oh. <laughs> it's just a degree of frustration at the moment. Clean enough, and 11, it's Tunjung who's nine, just in front here. 11 9 in the second game, but it was Okuhara who won the first. Oh. 
Start here, of course. Tunja wants to continue this domination. Took the time in Nukuhara to sort of keep it generally in one area. Flipping the net board there. confidence as she's trying to build a way build a construct points in that sort of way Okuhara Hi. only one behind chasing down Tunjung at the moment Going into that corner. Just stretching so the so there. 13, 11. Still just in front, Tunjo. This is valuable for Okuhara, and there's a number of mistakes today, a number of unforced errors from... Tunjo is, uh, is quite telling, because she played it so well in the last few matches that we've seen her. Farah will be encouraged by what she's seeing, what she's doing. Under pressure here, Tunjung. I've just got herself out of trouble there. So it's over 14, 12. Again, that net court has played a part in it. She was in trouble much earlier in this rally. <laughs> they both look shattered at times. Take a
Like well, she's had plenty of rest. Uh, she was the first match on yesterday, Tunjung. Going out. Sunjung played it anyway. Trying to stretch each other. Oh, looks like a bit of a. She looked up now because she had a bit of a swing at it. And the lead is now three. After every point, there's very slow recovery from both. Adomi, show him. Well, if she right. wants to win this in two, Okuhara. She's got to fall this back now. A three point deficit. harder for her. Tired looking shots from both. And Okuhara is staying down a little longer each time. Picking herself up as well, a little slower. I just wonder if she's starting to feel this. Okuhara, show him where to mop him. And it could be having an effect, we'll see. But the lead is now four. Now, this is a good position for Tunjung. She's got to keep her foot on it. Seventeen, twelve. Now up to five. This is going to get difficult. It's a good run here for Tunjung, who's on a four-point streak. Very well placed, that shot from Okuhara. 13, This and it's Tunjung who wins it. So it's over 18. Okuhara has played top 10 players six times this year, only once beaten a top 10 player that was Ratchnok Intanon at the World Champs. She was uh, 36th, then Intanon, Ratchnok Intanon was seventh in the world, which is uh, actually the ranking now of Tunjung. But this is running away from Okuhara in game two. 19-13. She's lost all her other matches. Chen Yufei, Carolina Marin, He Bing Jiao, An Su Young and Tun Jung at the Denmark Open.
challenge uh, from Okuhara. Nozomi Okuhara challenges Hart out. This, of course, if she's wrong, it'll give game point challenging way, way out. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Playing shots like that from time to time, it's just not been as 20. evident in the second game. Remember now that if we go into a third, and there are still six game points here in favor of uh, Tunjo. They're both going to get a chance at either end to swap at the interval. That topples over on the net cord. That's about as perfect as you can get it. Game points to save for Okuhara. Tunjung wins the second. We're going into a third year, much better from the Indonesian. She looks more comfortable on the end. Still very hard to see how this one is going to pan out now that they're going to have a go at either end. So, third game here. This is where this end is where Okuhara was comfortable. And of course, the conventional thinking now would be to see how much of a lead she can build up before the interval, before they swap ends, where Tunjung was far more comfortable. They both preferred that far end. But right now it's Tunjung who seems to have adapted quicker. She's got a two point lead here. Oh, 
Well, there's a good shot. How often have we seen that in the last game? Much better from Okuhara. It's going against the drift. You can look at shots like that. But just hold up a little. Well, that all stemmed from the service return of Tunjo. That immediately put Okuhara under pressure. Anyway, but it's Tunjung who's now raced to a quick 4 1 lead. Ooh, stretching Tunjung here, who hits back herself. Awkward moments on the floor. Kind of wince when you see that again. Uh, this time it's a left foot that gives way. You just fear. Every time that happens, it might see a recurrence of some sort. Done there, Okuhara, keep it alive. I feel like Tunjong is starting to really assert herself now, and we saw that, of course, in the previous game, but now at this end, where she struggled in the first game, she looks so much more comfortable. Shots. Ridiculous. Seven, two. That's the kind of confidence we've seen her play. These are the kind of shots she was employing against Chen Yufei last weekend. Did well to get up, recover. Umpire, referee, referee. 
There's a little flashlight in the crowd. And uh, that's just been dealt with right now. Look, uh, the crowd just have to be aware of not using the flash or torchlights. So these were the sort of shots that she was making quite comfortably before Nine. Okuhara. It's not the case now, and Tunjung has opened up a very nice five-point lead before she moves over to the other end, which Okuhara, to be fair to her, might have adjusted to herself. We'll see. It's not working out for Okuhara at the moment, is it? So it's over. Plenty of unforced errors Five. piling up now, I'm afraid. And Tunjo in an excellent position, really. shot oh almost there Tunjo a couple of very useful points for Okuhara to just narrow that lead remember she's the one that was probably wanting to take the lead into the interval Uh, a little better for Okuhara. Eight. This is Eight. working out nicely. Eight. Remember, it was 10-5, uh, three in a row here for Okuhara, her best run for quite some time. Since... Uh, near the beginning of the second game. So we finally get to the interval with Tunjung now with a three-point lead, 11-8 in game three.
って、あとは早いかな、もうここ頑張って、もうここだけコントロール、頑張ってしてみ、うん、そこでさ、厳しくさ、あの逃げようとかじゃなくて、決められるんだと思って、自分のミスだけ全部。And I just wonder now who fl flipped ends、um, whether it's going to be Okuhara who has adapted to it. That'll be fascinating to see because Tunjung turned it around, didn't she? More or less. In the first half of this game. Well, the first two points go to Okuhara. There's only one point in it now. This is impressive. Attack at times. Okuhara. Very heavily, whenever you see her at the intervals, and the mic is nearby. Well, you've got to give a lot of credit to Okuhara after looking down and out, and she was really trailing, wasn't she? In game three. She has battled back superbly here. And now in front. She was trailing by five. 2 7, she was at one point. And then 5 10, trained twice by five. Which means that、uh, she won an up just, just till that previous point. Eight of the last ten points have been hers. So a very good turnaround. This is. Very, very nicely poised, isn't it? And Tundra going under a bit of pressure here.
Fukuhara keeping that lead for now. Well placed. This is uh, sort of what we saw earlier. That's out. All oh, problems abounding here for Okuhara, for uh, Tunjo, rather, against Okuhara. Now, at the Korea Open in July, Tunjo actually lost. That's in to Sim Yoon Jin. Sim Yoon Jin of uh, Korea, who's 38th in the world then. This was only a couple months ago. That's exactly the ranking that Okuhara is at right now. She lost in three there, the second round of the Korea Open. Okuhara is going great guns here. This is impressive. Still leads by three. Just a word there that 15, 17. can happen again. And she's got two in a row here. Tunjung. Oh, this is excellent from Okuhara. It could be a special moment for her. She gets three more points. Wow, that would be quite the result after the year that she has had. And she's nearly there. Well, this would be a headline for sure. If Nozomi Okuhara can do this. As I said, she has had 11 first round exits. Two second round exits. And the only time she's got past the second round was at the World Champs and at the Indonesia Masters, which was the Super 100 event. That was in September. And she's got five match points. This is absolutely brilliant for Nozomi Okuhara. Can she finish it? Not yet. Almost in sight, though. She's so close to a big, big result for her. Tunjung fighting to stay in this tournament. Four match points to save. She's done it, Nozomi Okuhara, for the first time in 2023. After what's been a really tough time for her, she has got through to the third round of a tournament, Super 300 or above, and a Super 750, no less. Look what it means to her. Huge. And she's beaten someone in form, a top 10 player, only the second time this year has she done that. Previously with Ratchanok Intanon at the World Champs, but the first time on the World Tour itself has she beaten. A top 10 player and gotten to the third round in a Super 300 or above. Very special for Nozomi Okuhara. She could well be playing Ansu Young next. We'll see. Big smiles. Let her enjoy her moment for now.
And Tunjung will be disappointed after playing so well last weekend. She'll be hoping that she can secure her place in that race to the finals. So, Nozomi Okuhara, a bit of an upset here. The Japanese shuttle has beaten Kagura Mariska Tunjung of Indonesia, the seventh seed. 21-12, 15-21, 21-16 has taken just over an hour to do so.